And now, here it comes. The news premiere podcast. Frontline news with Frank Clark. Today, we got some interesting topics coming up. Frontline news with Frank Clark. Thank y'all for coming on board. Uh, first, we're going to cover some of the national news, and then we're going to hit the main issue I want to talk about. Now, while we're at it, let's go to the Washington Times. Washington Times. I think that that is the premier newspaper where you can go that has trustworthy news. Here's a good um, cyber sleuths blame China uh, based digital propaganda for fanning Asian American protests. You know, I don't even know if there's anything worth covering there. Because, to me, it seems like some of the same recycled stuff. Blame China, people get mad. And here's one. Afghan exit makes over half of voters think 9-11 style attack is more likely. Uh, Poll shows. You know, that does remind me of something. A, A golden poll states that two-thirds of Americans oppose have disapproval disapproval of Biden's situation how he handled Afghanistan okay we're talking about Bowgate uh, at its best and you know you, you want to think, talk about <laughs> How many gates we have in this uh, administration? And we have Bow Gate in the Biden administration, and the Democratic controlled Congress, uh, especially in the Senate, wanted to tax cryptocurrency. We have a mitigate, meaning of so many, so many amendments that the American people are getting tired of it. So here we go. If you'll give me 90 seconds, I'll tell you why you should invest in gold and silver. Can you trust the central bank and the Fed and the nation's banks to hold tight to your assets and investments? I don't think so. So, check out Marine Metals and invest in some, some silver or some gold. Now, I'm not being paid. This is not a paid promotional. I just think it's a very good uh, business, a very good product. Now, back to the news. All right, check this out. Biden to mandate vaccine for federal workers uh, uh, and contractors. Let me ask you this. How many of them contractors are entrepreneurs? Maybe those contractors don't want to take the vaccine. Now, am I opposed to the vaccine? No. I think if you feel like you should, after consultation with a qualified, well-researched doctor, he says you should take it, you should take it. But do I think it needs to be mandated? No. No. Uh-uh. No, no, no way at all. That should tell you something right then and there. The way Biden's going. All right. Oh, here's one. Wary Europe looks to its own defense 
after U.S. Afghan uh, debacle. Ain't shame. We got a president right now who once again is shaming the United States of America. I'm telling you, there's a bunch of cries right now going out saying impeach him. Impeach him. Oh, here's one. Devout, that's in quotes, Biden using Catholicism as a political tool. I ain't that something else. Don't they just make you want your blood gonna, gonna boil? Now I'm not saying we uh, shouldn't involve our faith in the public square. We should. But I want you to read you some of this from this headline. In the wake of the recent Supreme Court ruling where the court found that any decision about the new Texas right to the life law would require a defendant and a plaintiff. President Biden was kind enough to share a few thoughts. His statement said, in part, the Supreme Court's ruling is an unprecedented uh, assault on women's constitutional rights. Really? I don't call that being kind. I call that being cruel. What's happening to people nowadays? Now, I'm going to comment about this later. Ted Cruz, Senator Ted Cruz, and God bless Texas, you know. The DD's podcasts are from Texas on this network anyway, and Anyway, uh, he says he's gotten a lot of ire from people because he says if your employment benefits are run out, get a job. All right, I heard uh, I heard a response about this from the News Talk Next podcast. Um, you know, Rob Carson. The solution: get a job, okay, and 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 say you're disabled or something that can't work. And forming the business, what's wrong with Americans who can't empower themselves? Instead, they think that they got to rely on the government to take care of them. What kind of civilization have we turned into? Now, ain't that, ain't that something? And some of you trust the central bank? Some of you trust? Uh... Some of you trust the Fed or or even uh, they trust the government and any entities, holding entities that that have safeguard <laughs> our investments. <laughs> Mario says woo-hoo as he goes down the drain. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, it goes like this. You think about it. 
This is why I'm advocating for you to invest in gold and silver. Okay? Stop buying to the lies that, <laughs> oh, you need to open up a savings account, or, oh, you need to uh, get an ETF or an IRA, okay? You ever read Rich Dad Poor Dad? Or rich dad cash flow quadrant. Let me tell you something. Those books will teach you some things. I recommend you get those. Now, back to the uh, unemployment benefit thing. I'm just going to say this and speak about get a job or form your own business to possibly make us some income fast. But if you're too much complete, get a job. I understand there's some people who are unable to work. Or who sadly, because of our uh, government, through society, makes us, some people, you know, they want to work. But they can't because of limited opportunities. Guess what? You can do something about that, can't you? Can you? Really? Let's think about this. Now, I'm going to dedicate the last few minutes into what Biden says. And why the majority of Americans are pro life. I support almost wholeheartedly the Texas Heartbeat Bill. Okay? Especially after listening to yesterday's issue of uh, the Point of View radio talk show podcast. It's available on YouTube. Um, Google um, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I know it's available on iHeartRadio. And maybe even uh, Podcast Addict. Now listen to me. Some say, well, what about the instance of that, you know, Rape or incest. Let me tell you something. I've heard stories from Bible studies. Where people that have talked to yes, point of view is on the podcast ad. Um people have said I know a friend who's uh, who was raped but yet she chose to carry and give birth to that child and raise, raise that child okay you can raise that child or you can give that child up for adoption and I know some old timers they're like hey, no don't, don't you give it up for adoption that's stupid but I want y'all to think about this this this, this argument of poor abortion there's many there's many couples that want, that want to have kids and they can't. Abortion stamps that out. Adoption frees that opportunity. You think about that. The uh, contemporary Christian artist Stephen Curtis Chapman has a lovely song that says When Love Takes You Home. I want you to think about it. Now, do I think that Texas should punish an Uber driver for taking to an abortion clinic? No. Because it may not be that driver's choice. Even if it is, you don't, you, you don't punish unrelated companies. No. 